Hi, Erin Fitz here with Beacon Credit Union. On today's episode of Social 365, we take a spin around the green with the players of For the Kids Golf Tournament. All this to support Casa of Central Virginia and Big Brothers, Big Sisters of Central Virginia. Check it out. We teamed up with the players of the For the Kids Golf Tournament presented by Beacon Credit Union and asked them some of life's most important questions. If you had a chance to meet your clone, would you? Um, I don't think so. That would just, that would be weird. Yeah. I don't like hearing myself like on video. Yeah. So I don't know that I would like to meet myself. Right. Right. Guess what? You're going to see yourself. Oh my gosh. <laughs> sure. Why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd like to know if my clone is um, as overweight as I am, <laughs> you know, if uh, if he's making more money or less mm -hmm. money and, you know, all those things. Okay. Sure. Okay. Wouldn't you? It's a comparison is what you're saying. That's right. <laughs> who's, who's the better clone? Oh, yeah. yeah. So I can figure out, like, what's wrong with me. <laughs> Which movie villain would you most hate to meet in real life? Thanos. Uh -oh. Yeah, Good Thanos one. for sure. Good one. He just looks like he's got... A strong chin yeah. so like even if I even if I like gave him my best like cross yeah. like he would just take it on the chin you know I'll say like Freddy Krueger because okay. I was absolutely petrified I mean, of Freddy yeah. Krueger growing up yeah he was my um like in my my time era so I would yeah. I would guess I would say him yeah. I actually had a friend who um, dressed up like Freddy Krueger for Halloween one year and tapped on my window in the middle of the night no. with butter knives on no. his fingers so yeah is Michael Myers a villain? Yeah, totally. Totally Michael Myers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I I've watched all of the Halloween movies. I pretty much can tell you word for word every line of all the movies, but I think I would just not want to meet Michael yeah. Myers. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put you on the spot. Can you throw out a line from the movie? Well, they have a lot of cuss words. In them, so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why aren't you dead? I mean, I've, I've killed you 20 times now. Uh, right. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Right. <laughs> Probably the Joker, oh, yeah, because okay. especially like the original Jack yeah. Nicholas, like that was a good character he did. Yeah. And if you could start a secret society, who or what would your mascot be? It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you. It's a secret. I'd probably do like a paperclip mascot. Oh, okay. Uh, just because it's used for a lot of things and people wouldn't know what it's about. So, uh -huh. you know. You, you just use a paper clip. Okay. Like, that's what MacGyver used a lot. So, <laughs> paper clip will get you out of anything. I mean, and duct tape, of course. The bald eagle. Oh. Yeah. Okay. The bald eagle. Well, for, you know, I'm bald. So, <laughs> that's one of the reasons. So, Kelly, tell me more about CASA. Yeah, so CASA stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates, and we recruit, train, and support volunteers mm -hmm. who advocate for children who have suffered abuse or neglect. Mm -hmm. And these uh, these advocates are able to be the eyes and the ears of the judge and are very influential in helping the judge make decisions in the best interest of the child. These um, children, to be able to have a CASA volunteer, we know that it means that they're 50% less likely to re-enter the foster care system, which is incredible. And they spend an average of eight months less in foster care. So being able to provide that for them is really essential. And um, we love to be able to do it. We have about 99 children on our waiting list right now, which we hate to see. Yeah. Uh, so we always need more volunteers. Yeah. And you know, these kids can't do a thing to change their circumstances. Yeah. So if we can come along beside them and help them, you know, help it to be a little easier while they're going through such a difficult time in their life, then it's a it's a win for us. Yeah. Beacon is, is such a great sponsor of ours. You guys sponsor all three of the major fundraising events that we have each year and we're so thankful for that. And you, you know Joe being on our board, you know, you all know exactly what it means to to be able to provide advocates for children. So we're so thankful for all of the sponsors who, you know, show that they care about this. Sometimes it's really hard for people to accept that abuse and neglect happen to children. So by sponsoring and by showing the community like we care about this and we want to help end it, um, that, that says a lot about the company themselves and we notice that. To get involved with CASA of Central Virginia, you can attend an information session and learn how to become an advocate or sidekick. You can also support CASA by donating through their website, cvcasa.org.